Okay, guys. This is my top five beach fixed spool reels for UKC angling. So fixed spool is something I do use. I use it coincide with a multiplier. I just um, I have fished on the beach just purely having multipliers. But there's something about the fixed spool, and there is advantages by having um, fixed spool. If um, years ago I used to do a lot of night fishing, and um, when I was starting out, I probably started out with the most the hardest um, reel, which was the multiplier. And at night time, you can run into difficulties depending on what line you got, what reels, you know, how new you are to it. So, um, to be brutally honest, the fixed pool is the most easiest and simple to use, less likely to, to ramifications, i.e., birds' nests and um, those sort of things, casting issues. Um, and surprisingly, you, you well, or non surprisingly, you can get great distances. Um, a lot of the guys are using the braid now, using the, the, uh, a certain fixed spool reel with the braid to get the distance. And we'll go into that a little bit later on. Something I haven't done that much of, mainly to do with what part of the coast I live, because there's a lot of tide. But if you live somewhere where the tide generally goes in, sorry, comes in and goes out, then you could probably get away with braid. Um, but where I live, there's a lot of tide and... Um, you can get a lot of, um, if you get a fairly big surf running, the waves can catch the braid and sort of lift the grip lead out of the seabed and the tide, it drags round and it'll pull into snags um, and just gentle or a groin or, or whatever. So I generally stick to the monofilament and I have less problems with that. So, um, yeah, so, so we're, 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 this video is about um, fixed ball rails. And it's mainly aimed at the um, the beginner um, looking, starting out looking to buy a first reel, and it's um, it's aimed at the intermediate angler who's been doing it a while and maybe looking to upgrade, and also the you know the angler who's been doing it for years and years and years and he's just looking to upgrade. So there's just five reels I've just pulled out of a hat. Um, well, I've really pulled them out of a hat. They're they're ones I feel uh, right now um, would hit the nail right on the head, so to speak. So okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and we'll we'll get it started now. Okay, guys, the Daiwa Tournament S six thousand T or Daiwa six thousand, however you want to call it, three hundred quid. It's a top end reel. Um, you're buying something which is uh, it's a very solid unit. Um, it's reasonably light. It's um, it's lovely to use. Very smooth. Uh, it's the reel I currently use at the minute. Um, I've had no problems with it. I don't have any um, anything bits which fall off it. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't doesn't fly to bits. Um, you know, the dial, the drag sounds nice when you tighten it up. Um, I don't even really. I might just rinse it now and again, but I don't generally pull it apart. And just it's um, extremely long cast, and I've got it teamed up with my century rod, and um, it goes like a rocket. Really does. You can pick them up for about three hundred quid. There is, um, when you read about the um, you know the purpose of the reels, it does mention about big pit reels, so some carp enthusiasts might use it as well for distance casting, um, but it's perfectly at home for the, um, for the beach. It's, um, what has it got? It's got um, it's good line lay. It's got this worm gear oscillation for superb line lay. And um, it's got some Dura aluminium gears in there, so it's a classic big pit spool design. Um, and um, yeah, it's got a sort of a front drag system there, nice wooden handle. And um, yeah, all in all, it's just it's just you know typical sort of day were well thought out. I think it's got eight ball bearings, lovely and smooth. And like I say, it's um, it's you know if you're going to get a sort of a top end real ish, a robust sort of real, which is going to last years. I think I've had mine about ten years, um, and you get really good distance, and you do notice the quality. If you do push the boat out and spend an extra 100, 150 pounds on a reel, you do really notice it. Um, but this video, we're going to talk about some alt really good alternatives, which are half that price um, and less. So um, just bear with us, and um, yeah, but I would. Shimano LX 10,000, 80 quid. Now that's not a bad buy at all. Um, I've actually, I used to, have, I, this is one of my first fixed spool reels years ago. I'm going back 25, 30 years ago. Then on the LX 8,000, I think it was. 
Um, and for 80 quid, you do get um, a reel which can, you know, last for ages, lovely to use. This one in particular is 645 grams, so it's really light. Um, it's got two shielded stainless steel and one roller bearing. It's a full size beach reel. Like I say, 645 grams, maximum drag 15 kg, so that's loads. Um, and um, a gear ratio of 461 and uh, 0.35 millimeters at 400 meters. And uh, so that's like 12 pound at 440 yards, 16 pound at 330 yards, 20 pound at 220 yards. So, yeah, if you start if you're starting out um, and you don't want to spend too much money, but you want something quality, something to be reliable, some, if you look after it, something that lasts you a long time, and um, and you get real good surprising results with something like this, you'll get some real good distance. And eighty quid. Um, an alternative to this, I think, is an Okuma Surf eight thousand. That'd probably be quite a good one as well. Um, I know it's very popular, but for me, I would I would go for the Airlex. I've had one before, and I, I couldn't fault them. I really couldn't fault them. You can you used to be able to get a finger pickup version, um, but I haven't seen that for a while. Where they where you don't get the roller, you don't get the bail arm. You just have a, a finger pickup. Where you have just to slot the line in there when you cast it. Um, equally just as good. And um, yeah, so that's that's the Airlex. If you're starting out, that would be one of my picks. No no shadow of a doubt. And um, you get a lot of um, good fun with that reel. Right. So this is the Shimano Surf Leader. Top end reel, C14 plus 35, 275 quid, yep, so it's top end reel, um, so it's really light weight, um, light line model, it's designed for the continental style rod, so it's a braid sort of um, design for, um, I've not got too involved that much with the braid, other than just whacking braid on a normal sort of reel and casting it, but um, like I say, it depends on where you are part of the coast. It's got a decent drag on it, 20 kg, so it's a big fish sort of drag, 351 retrieve, so it's 33 inch line gain per handle turn. I think the um, the pin battle has got a bit better than that, it's a lot cheaper. But anyway, so five sailed bearings plus a spool roller bearing, um, super slow oscillation, and we've got parallel ARC spool for increased distance casting. So something to do with that spool, that's apparently that increases your, your distance. So that's fair enough. So like I say, so it's um, this is a more modern version. I think it first came out in 2014. And um, it's got um, protection um, with regards to prevent water, dirt and salt getting into the gears. So it's pretty sort of a water, you know, well sealed sort of reel. Um, so super sh shallow spool. Um, what we got? F 535 grams in weight, so it's very light. Um, so it's perfect to use on light to medium action continent style beach casters. Um, and it can use fine molar filament of 0.18 to 0.20 millimeters in diameter. Um, so yeah, it's um, like I say, it's one of these new modern braid sort of reels, and um, give it a whirl. Quite expensive, but. Um, so the Shimano Altigra C14 plus 14,000 XSC, 250 quid. Um, yeah, it's not something I, you know, I've used before. But reading up about it, strikes me it's a little bit like the um, um, the same sort of um, gearing inside as what you have as a Stradic and a Vanford and those modern sort of ones. So this this would be um, certainly lovely to use. I know this particular model is um, an improvement on weight, and um, they've lost 100 grams somehow. This one weighs 585 grams. Um, so this one here, so it's designed for long casting. It's, um, it's got all your Shimano features, the CI4 main body, the, this is the head gain drive gear, um, silent drives they have, all sorts of different bits and pieces inside just to make it nice and smooth and, and light. Um, and it's got a drag on the front there, it's got four ball bearings plus one Saab bearing, I'm not sure what a Saab bearing is. It's got, um, in this particular package, it has, I think they sell it as, a, as an extra spool and line reducers, so you can have some different types of lines to suit your conditions. Um, 
So, you know, obviously if you've got fine sand in front of you, you could probably go right down to something like £10, £8 if you dare. Um, and then, you know, obviously it gets a bit rougher. You might have a spool there where you've got sort of 20 25 £30 line. That Just those sort of things. Um, doesn't mention using braid with it. I know one of the other reels of, we're going to review here is, is going to talk a little bit about braid. It probably wouldn't. You probably could use braid. Um, I've gone in a little bit at the beginning about you know where when to use braid and not. Um, so the pen battle three long cast. Um, this strikes me as a good value reel. It's quite expensive, but it's um, very robustly made. I actually have the three thousand for um, pike fishing, bit of spinning, bit of all round sort of stuff really. Um, and it's um, yeah, very well made. They're, they they are um, without you know breaking the bank. They've been th this one strikes me as one which would be really good for for surf casting off the beach. So it's um, it's a very tough reel. Uh, it's rugged all round construction. Um, it's reasonably lightweight. It's seven hundred forty eight grams. A recovery of thirty seven inches per turn. Retrieve four zero one. And it's got a big capacity, 485 metres of 0.35 millimetres. It's got five stainless steel ball bearings. It's got an EVA uh, handle there. And um, what else has it got? It's got 13.6 maximum drag. And um, it's got a sealed HT100 carbon fibre front drag. All right, so you won't get a lot of sand and stuff in there. Um, it's a long cast super line spool. Um, so yeah, so it's geared up for sort of the distance casting. And um, yeah, it wouldn't bust the bank. It's still a lot of money. But if you want something robust and sort of fairly modern and um, oozes quality, that would be um, be my pick. And um, I must admit, there's something very nice about when you lift the bail arm open and you hear a click on one of these. Um, beautiful. Beautiful sound of like it's been well thought out and um, won't let you down. Um, so yeah, that'd be one of my picks. Okay then, guys. So it goes a little something like this. My top five, uh, as you can see in the picture there, got a couple of nice little whiting. Years ago, you should have the cod hanging up there, but not right now. It looks like I'm gonna have to get in my car and travel a long, long way to try and get them off the beach. But okay, it is what it is. So anyway, sorry, sorry about that. Um, so number one, we're going to go for the pen battle, long cast, because good quality um, at sort of an average sort of price. Um, then, then we're going to go for the day with 6000T, just lovely to use. LX 10,000, budget good quality. Shimano Altigra, something a little different, a bit more um, good quality, um, be nice to own. And the Shimano Surf Leader C114 for um, the Continental um, gurus out there. And um, so there you go. So there's the five, my top five present day, 2022. Hope you enjoyed the video. Many more along the way. Please subscribe. Any questions about anything, please just let me know. All right, take care, and I hope you catch that big one. All right, I'll see you later.